The Prime is something of a curiosity around these parts in that it's the first tablet to ship with NVIDIA's quad-core Tegra 3 SoC. Actually, let's just call it what it is, the first quad-core tablet, period. We've run our usual spate of benchmarks, listed above for your viewing pleasure, and the combined scores are among the highest we've yet seen, handily beating the Galaxy Tab 8.9 and 7.0 Plus we recently tested in most cases suffice to say, all the mundane bits, swiping through menus, opening apps, run as briskly as you'd expect on a quad-core slate. The Prime's display is as responsive as it is gorgeous, and we made ourselves at home quickly, so much so that we found ourselves tapping the screen even when we were plugged into the dock. Make no mistake, the Prime is fast, but we suspect Honeycomb's 3D animations aren't the best way to highlight this, given that Dual Core Tegra 2 can stomach these flourishes well enough already that said, we were sorry to still see some occasional stutters and hiccups from time to time, instances where the device would hesitate for just a half second or so before responding. It's the kind of thing we've seen on just about every Android device to date and it's a bit of a shame that even 4 whopping cores running at 1.3 GHz can't do away with them we wish we could use this as an occasion to walk you through ICS on a tablet but alas, that day isn't upon us just yet. The Prime ships with Android 3.2.1, and you know what that means. Honeycomb, jazzed up ever so slightly with a few removable widgets, power management profiles and handy settings shortcuts, which you can access by swiping or tapping the clock in the lower right corner. Those settings, by the by, include Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, IPS Super IPS mode and auto rotation for the screen. It's quite similar to what Samsung is packing in its touch with D Galaxy tabs these days those widgets, meanwhile, are pretty harmless and not particularly exciting, with weather and mail, as well as a larger one that cobbles together weather, calendar, music, gallery access and a shortcut to the last website you visited. Again, these are easy to dump if you like your home pages a little more pristine, as we typically do we're usually quick to dismiss the cameras on tablets because, really, other than the odd video chat just because you can we don't ever find ourselves flipping on either front or rear sensor. But, we do defully did here to test out the Transformer Prime's picture taking abilities and, it must be said.